Hi, I'm Mrs McTaggart and you are here with lesson number four on the circle topic. We are looking at intersecting lines and circle. Now, some of what we're going to do might seem a wee bit familiar if you've already done quadratic theory because we do do intersecting lines and curves and it's, it is quite um, similar, some of the stuff we do. So let's have a wee look at what we're doing. So we have to find the points of intersection of the circle x squared plus y squared equals 1, 2, 5 and the line x equals 2. So I'm just going to highlight the information we've been given. So here is our circle. Here is our y equals 2x. Now, when you've done points of intersection at straight line or quadratic theory, you're used to setting y equal to y. Now, I would accidentally probably call it setting y equal to y in class, but it's actually going to be more of a substitution thing here. What I've told you is I've told you in this straight line, if I just rub this out in a minute, I've told you that y is equal to 2x. Now, what that means is wherever I see y, I can sub this in. So you can actually, what you do is you sub the straight line into the equation of the circle to get this one. So what I'm going to do is exactly what I said. So going into the circle, x squared stays the same. y gets replaced with 2x. And I'm putting brackets around it, and I'll explain why in a wee second. A really bad habit in maths that we see all the time is people um, sub in 2x and square it and say that it's just 2x squared like that. It's the whole thing that's got to be squared, so that's a big no-no. If in actual fact, if you square it, it's about like doing 2x times 2x, which gives you 4x squared equals 1, 2, 5. Tidy this up, x squared plus 4x squared gives you 5x squared is 1, 2, 5. Um, x squared is that divided by 5, which is 25. And when you square root 25, please remember you get two answers. You get plus or minus 5. And then what you do is to get the other two parts of the coordinate, you go back to the straight line and you replace x with 5. So my two points of intersection are if we take the positive 5 first of all and replace it into my straight line here, 2 times 5 is 10. So one of the points is 5, 10. For the other one, minus 5, when you sub that in, 2 times minus 5 is minus 10. So there are your two points of intersection. So we're going to do the same again, but it gets more complicated depending on which circle we're asking to find the point of intersection with. So we're going to use this one, the really big long one, okay? This is so many places to go wrong with the algebra. So wherever I see y, I'm going to now replace it with 2x plus 6. And what I'll do is I'll put a bracket around it. So we have x squared. It's incredible how much space this takes up. I'm going to try and write really small. Plus 2x plus 6 all squared. Plus your 2x. And just be careful. It's really easy to miss a term out here. And then you've got another y again. So that becomes 2x plus 6. Take away 8 equals 0. Right, we've got some bracket work to do here. So x squared. If you're not great at squaring out brackets in one go, please feel free to write it out as a double bracket. And it just means you've got an extra couple of lines of work into everybody else. But squaring brackets is something we assume you're maybe pretty good at doing it higher. So you've got 2x times 2x, which gives you 4x squared. You would have a 2x times 6, giving you a 12x. And then another one, so that would give us 24x. And then you would have 6 times 6 is 36. And then I just need to do all this other bit, expand that bracket, 2 times 2 gives me 4x, 2 times 6 gives me another plus 12, and I'm just fitting it in, equals 0. Right, let's tidy this up. So with my x squared, I've got a 5x squared. Um, my x's, I have got a 24, a 2, and a 4. Um, so 24 plus 6 is 30. So plus 30x. And then for my numbers, I have got 36 plus 12, which is 48, take away 8, so that gives me 40. Okay, well then if a trinomial that we're going to solve, a common factor will make life so much easier though. So remove the common factor of 5, which gives you this. And then look for two numbers, multiply to 8 and add to 6. Well, it's got to be plus 4 plus 2. I've kept my signs all nice for you. And if you solve both of them, you get x equals negative 4, x equals negative 2. So all that's left to do is go get the other parts of your coordinates. So again, we're subbing back into 
the straight line for this, we're summing back into y equals 2x plus 6. So our points are, if I take the negative 4 first of all, plugging in negative 4 here, um, gives you negative 8 plus 6, so negative 2. Plugging in negative 2 gives you negative 4 plus 6, which is 2. So here are your points of intersection. Okay, one more. And it's plugging back into the first equation of a circle. So again, wherever I see y, I'm going to replace it with 2x minus 1. So this one's a wee bit uh, easy to mess up on. So the first bracket is going to stay as it is, and I'm just going to leave it like that just now. And the second bracket, when I sub in, I've got the y becomes 2x minus 1, but there's already a minus 2 there as well. See it there? So I have to not forget that, which is what happens. So I'm going to tidy up that bracket before I start expanding everything out. So it's going to be 2x minus 3 that I have to square. Okay, square these out. So I've got x squared minus 4x twice, so minus 8x plus 16. Oops, it is eight. Then I've got plus 4x squared. I'm going to have a minus 6x twice, so minus 12x and a plus 9. Now comes a good bit, tidy it all up. So 5x squared. Um, I've got minus 8 minus 12, so minus 20x. And 16 plus 9 is 25. Okay, common factor of 5 again, quite a common theme in my examples. Leaving x squared minus 4x plus 5. And then if we factorise that, oops, did you say? we get x minus 5, x plus 1 equals 0. And that gives you x equals 5, x equals negative 1. Now it's worth mentioning here, if you get to this point and your thing does not factorise, you have done something drastically wrong, probably somewhere here in your expansion line, so please go back and check your algebra. There are points of intersection, so if your thing doesn't factorise, you have messed up, all right? So it's quite a good indication of looking for mistakes in your working. Right, so we have to find the points again. So just a reminder, I'm going to sub in to y equals 2x minus 1 to get my other coordinates. So if I take the 5 first of all, plug in the number 5, 2 times 5 is 10, take away 1 is 9. And the other one, plug in negative 1, 2 times negative 1, take away 1 is negative 3. So negative 1, negative 3. And these are your two points of intersection. Okay, so I've shown you all the three different styles. It all depends what circle you're given, but it is substitution, substitution for y. Thanks for watching. I hope this has helped. Bye-bye.